Even though some states are lifting shelter in place orders, many people are still working from home, which inspired me to reach out to some of the most talented people around the world to find out what they're doing to stay sane during this time. I'm Therese Garnier and you're watching Positivity During the Pandemic. So today I have a surprise for you, which you will find out later on in the segment, but in the meantime, let me introduce my newest guest. This Ohio native started out as a ballet dancer, and now she's starring in shows and movies such as Dear White People on Netflix and the newly released film Rope. So without further ado, here's Lauren York. Welcome to the show. How are you? <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited. Uh, yeah, today's been great. If you can tell, I'm a little greasy oily i was outside putting i had sunscreen all over me like five minutes ago so <laughs> trying to get some rays while i can nice nice so tell me what are you doing to stay positive during this time i just want to say thank you for doing these beautiful segments i think content like this is so important right now um people need to see positivity when they turn to their sources of media so Thank you so much for doing these, and I'm so happy to be a part of it. To answer your question, my husband and I, we have been enjoying this time together. Um, we do a lot of cooking together, which usually we don't get to do because he films during the week. Um, five days a week, he goes to set and for his show. So I always, you know, I'm cooking alone, and I have dinner, dinner ready for him, usually if I'm not working by the time he gets home. So us cooking together has been one of my favorite aspects of quarantine. We've been discovering so many new recipes. We try to keep it healthy. Um, I've been really into doing a plate full of color. So everything has to be colorful and the more colorful, the healthier it is. Who is that? Is, is that Mr. Josh Swickard? Oh my gosh, we get a two for one deal. I'm just saying. Okay, Josh, so I hear you both are cooking together now. Yeah, no, I love it. She's got me eating or eating healthier than, than I've ever eaten. So Well that's always I'm, a good I'm very thing. grateful. Yeah. Good good uh sous chef and head chef a lot of the time. You know, you've heard of the quarantine fifteen, right? Where everyone's like gaining fifteen pounds because they're just eating like chips and cookies and stuff. So you guys are doing it the right way. You're like staying <laughs> healthy, you know? <laughs> We're trying for sure. We're trying our best. Uh, I as she called my name though, I had a jar of the uh cookie but what is it cookie butter from trader joe's it's like his kryptonite is this <laughs> cookie butter we have cookie butter ice cream yeah. cookie butter spread oh wow you really cookie do like that wow i've never yeah. even heard of it oh, oh do yourself a favor it's pretty delicious. get the jar don't good. buy anything to put it on just Spoon it. Oh boy. Okay. Well, I guess I can bring on the quarantine 15 with the cookie butter. Think of like snickerdoodle and peanut butter and Nutella made a baby. Oh, huh. that's a good description. Right. Yeah, that's, that's a great description. I think one of the most important things is to start your day with some sort of gratitude, some sort of uh, ritual with positivity included in it. So, Josh and I have been waking up and taking time to, you know, thank God for the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Um, we quote that in the morning together. And then uh, we do a just, I recently purchased a gratitude journal. And so you just kind of write down what you're grateful for. So Lauren, who are you nominating today to take on the positivity challenge and why? Her name is Elena Martella. Okay. She is a news reporter in Cincinnati, Ohio. And she's one of my best friends. And I will, I won't spoil the surprise of her life, but she is one of the most inspiring women that I know. Mm -hmm. um, she, she almost died. And mm -hmm. that experience gave her a complete new outlook on life mm -hmm. and uh she would love to take the positivity challenge because that's kind of her life mantra 
Lauren, special thanks to you and your husband for taking the time to share some positivity and food tips with us today. I'll be reaching out to your friend to see if she accepts your challenge. It sounds like she has such an amazing story to share with us, so I'm excited for that. But in the meantime, for those of you watching, check out Lauren and Josh's newest film, Roped, which, if you've seen my past episodes, also stars Christina Moore. And if you're looking for more unique tips or perspectives from past guests, head over to my YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Have a great positivity-filled week, everyone, and I will see you all next Friday.